Tristan Thompson is in hot water. It's not looking good for Nelly in court. People are concerned about Freddie Jackson. Mariah Carey comes clean. Starbucks is in a latte trouble. And we have our photo of the week and more, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Hey girl. Hello my darling, how you feeling? I'm good. good. So mm. let's get started with some quick takes. And it looks like Kenya Barris, creator of Blackish, is in some legal hot water. Goodness gracious. Yes. What happened? Because uh, Judge Samantha Jessner gave the green light to a lawsuit claiming that Kenya Barris actually stole the idea for the show from his former writing partner, Brian Barber. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, exactly. Let's see what happens with that, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, the whole thing is, Barber claims that back in 2006, he and Barris created the show together, the pilot, mm -hmm. and they made a promise to each other that they wouldn't move forward with the show without the other person's participation. So, his lawyer is saying that while they didn't have a written contract, it was an implied contract. But I totally get that, though. My, my writing partner and I have something similar, right? Well, make but sure. I guess you have to be friends <laughs> forever, right? Be like, who's that? Let me see that script. Let me see that script. <laughs> hold up, son. Hold up. I get it. I, I don't get know it. what you're doing. Yeah, so it's going to trial uh, May 7th. Well, best of luck to them. I hope they can work something out. They'll settle. It's a lot of money on the table at this point. Yeah. At least it's a success, right? right exactly. Mm -hmm. You can get his cash. All right. Cardi B. You know where I'm at. Right? You know where, okay. You know where I be. Like, she is doing the dog on thing. She says she wants everything. She says, I want house, family, yes. and, and the world. Up. She's just doing what Beyonce is doing. So, Cardi, Cardi B, her invasion of privacy, mm -hmm. right? But maybe she's not doing what Beyonce is doing. I don't know if they're going to go to the Okay. Cause, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. She, she's she, the she Bronx. She's making her money move. She's the Bronx Project Girls, Beyonce. Can you give me that? Oh, God. Give me that, guys. What do you guys think? Oh, I mean, she, All right, she's I guess. like a fairy princess. Well, you know, yeah. She, she's you know, like a, okay, so around anyway. the way, girl made good. So, with, right. so her, her debut album, Invasion of Privacy, mm -hmm. is on Billboard's 200 chart. She's number one. Oh, she's number oh, one. Oh, and wait, did you see her twerking? Did you see yeah, her, her pregnant, at, pregnant at twerking? Yes. 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 Right, and you know, some girls <laughs> act like they can't even stand on the train. Did you see that, girl? <laughs> Tans, she was all over 21 Sh uh, uh, Savage. 21 Savage, Tw yeah. I, I never can do his name. 21 Savage. She's like, he can't be 21. He's not 21 he's no more. 25. He's 25. He's oh, 25, Lord. right? And then Chance the Rapper. And Chance the Rapper is a Christian. I poor Chance the Rapper. He probably was like, Jesus walks. He was fine. <laughs> Speaking of Coachella, yes, or Baychella, yes. So what they said is right. If you are part, if somebody say you from Wakanda and they say where, and you say I'm from Baychella, <laughs> so yes. it's in the southwest corner of oh Wakanda. God. Beyonce tore it. She up. did. She did. She totally Ooh, and did. And Kelly. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the the oh my god! But the yeah, Beyonce. so so what they did? The Destiny's Child had their little reunion at Coachella. I mean, it, it blew up the internet. But let me tell you what did not blow up the internet. Michelle can't dance still. Like, what are Michelle, you hating who, on her? I am not. She was hating on herself. Like, you had 15 <laughs> years, Michelle, to get them goddamn steps. Them the same set. Say my name. Say my name. I got no steps, Michelle. You know what? Hater. I'm, so, I'm hater. not a hater. Listen. Okay, y'all know Michelle's performance okay. gave me life. Well, well Michelle, Michelle gave me a little bit of death because I kept on saying, ain't no fucking way Beyonce just had them babies. <laughs> And she's still out dancing. You, Michelle, ain't had a kitten or a cat. Okay. You know what? Hey. I'm going to just shut up. Shady. Shady. Anyway, so. 15 years to learn how to dance. You okay. Stop. Okay. The National Underground Railroad Freedom Center Ooh, in Cincinnati, mm. Ohio. Hallelujah. Celebrated the life and of singer and activist Mavis Staples. You know, let um, me take you there. I love her. That's a gospel song. I did not think that was a gospel song. I did not either. But yeah. all right, I've, I've been <laughs> taught. All right. She's talking about heaven. <laughs> the muse. That song is catchy, but that is yeah. a catchy song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the museum presented Staples with one of its highest awards, the Everyday Freedom Hero Award. Now, Staples received the award prior to her concert performance, an evening with Mavis Staples. So oh, congratulations beautiful. to her. Congratulations. You see how I act nice. I got, got some sense when you say stuff like Mavis. You get a name like Mavis, that's respect. Oh, name Lord. Like Mavis. I'm glad you didn't say anything sideways. So Brit <laughs> Brit a British woman joined Monique Green's lawsuit against Nelly. 
Oh, he getting caught up in Me Too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's okay. listed at Jane as Jane Doe too. Mm -hmm. And the court gave a detailed graphic testimony of the unwanted sexual encounter with N Nelly. Oh, uh, my gosh. I don't know. Do, do you think he's going to get out of it? I don't know. It's a new era. I don't know if he's going to get out of it like he would have I'm maybe just, two hope, years or three years. I, I hope they don't play ago. any of his music. It's <laughs> getting hot in here. You're <laughs> so silly. Girl, I'm just saying <laughs> congratulations <laughs> to the couple because they just had their baby. Yeah. yeah what's wrong? <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong? Because the baby cause the baby looked like Chance the Rapper. Oh, why did you have to go there? That's what the oh internet said. I didn't God. even say that. Wow. The internet said that. But, what? You're giving it more mileage. I'm giving it my, So we can't talk about this is entertainment news. I'm going to say what the internet says. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, That's God. What I'm gonna do. All right. So, so, All right. So another Shame. Kardashian is in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, help me. Okay. And um, and you, but you know what else I saw about um, Gabrielle Union? Her and Dwayne Wade. Oh, they have that show. They yeah, have a show. Celebrity Flip. Celebrity, Celebrity Flip. Flip. So check that out. So apparently, Man, how HGTV used to be super, super white, and that was like the whole thing that people used to say that's white people. So see, they're bringing a lot of color now. They got Egypt on there. She does like Virgin Flip. I saw it. I'm, you don't like Virgin Flip? It's okay. It's okay. I like it. I like Egypt. She got to lose a little pounds, but ooh, shady. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Damn. I'm dark skinned. Don't turn the lights off. I'm, you know I'm blue black. They be like, where she go? Where does she go? I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm not even throwing shade. I'm just speaking. Like, don't y'all want to hear me talk? I mean, that's what you pay your money for. You know what? All right. So we're moving from shadiness to congratulations to Kendrick Lamar, y'all. Okay, I love him. No shade. No shade. Yes, he is the first hip hop artist. In fact, he's the first artist outside. Of a classical artist or jazz artist to win the Pulitzer Prize for music. Look at that. His album, Damn. 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 I mean, yeah. And it Go was in, in, in his activism in his music, yes. like, and he Definitely. he did he did uh, the Wakanda soundtrack, you know. Yeah, he did. Yeah, oh, so awesome. like Kendrick is just doing the damn thing, and yeah. and and he still drives a Honda Accord. Like, I am I am feeling you, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I am feeling you. <laughs> He won't spend a lot of money. I'm telling you, look to his music. Well, he's that's like, why he's going to have a lot of money when he mm -hmm. gets older. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, we talked about the baby already, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, but we t did we talk about the cheating? Well, oh. well, that was implied. But wait, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to bring you that store, that story and more. Welcome back to What's the 411. And now we have stories. Uh, that popped off in relationships actually that's what um, I'm gonna call it okay so Tristan Thompson of the Cleveland Cavaliers yes okay so yes. I know we all talking about this so right days before Khloe Kardashian had her baby shameful their baby shameful he was spotted in the Manhattan uh, <laughs> <laughs> hotel was, was hotel with a strip club, um, the one of those bartenders, models, model. They said model, and then they said bartender. She's a so, bartender. She's okay, a bartender. She, she's a beautiful bartender, and and so taking money from the actual strippers. You think they stop? Okay. And so they, no, you think they're taking <laughs> money from the strippers? They're the bartender. Well, that's they what they're saying. The they need to not her. dress so she's sexy well, because they're taking to, money away. It's from a the strip strippers. club. I'm just saying. No, the but they, their job is just to give the drinks. They but just no. They, Have you been to a strip club? I have been to a strip club. The bartenders need to be cute. Okay, so anyway. You know what? Anyway, okay. So anyway. An Instagram model and strip club Instagram bartender. Instagram model. Yes. But that's the thing, right, with the Instagram model. If, if Instagram shut down, you're not a model no more. That's hilarious to me. But, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, when you're right, you're right, girl. You're so, right. Um, mm, mm, I'm just saying that, like, I don't know where, what's going to happen with this. I just don't know, guys. What, what do you guys think? I don't think? know either. I think it's... I think it's terrible. I mean, here you are about to give birth to this man, you know, this man's and baby. she's wanted a baby for a long time. Yes. And mm -hmm. she finally has it only to see, like, her relationship basically fall apart, you know, before her eyes, just before she gives birth. I mean, that is really, really disrespectful. Like, and she put in a lot of work. You know that you are a star. You are an NBA celebrity. Everybody knows you. I'm not saying. So what's saying he supposed to do? Not mess with anybody? I mean, he's an NBA star. You know, and I mean, I mean Chloe, he, sh he shouldn't. I mean, he shouldn't. He should be I mean, Chloe has monogamous. Been, Chloe has been life. through the NBA, so I'm just saying they, they need to give her jersey. So, um, I'm just saying, I, mm, bless the baby. <laughs> bless the baby. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll see how this mess works out. 
Okay, so the question we're posing to you guys, and you can comment. Um, do we have any sympathy for Chloe? I have some sympathy for Chloe because she's a pregnant woman. She's in this rela- relationship with this man, and you yeah. know she's having his baby. So Sorry, you know, Chloe. for right. yeah. For what him about to be for the strip out. club bartender model? Hell girl. no. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? She was I just think? at work, and he just came. You know, people hit people hit she, on you at work. You down with the she Me Too movement? No, hello. She knows that. He is in a relationship. He's with Chloe. In the, but he's in a relationship, not her. Okay. But that's why I have no sympathy. I'm okay. like, that's grimy as hell. No, Do you believe no that the sympathy. girl set him up? I mean, I don't know. And I don't I don't think it matters because at the end of the day, like you said, he was in a relationship and he went with her. So, you know, I have no sympathy for either one of them. But lots of sympathy for Chloe. Good luck, girl. She'll be okay. She's a Kardashian. She lands on her back. Oh, Bringing it into the lightness from the darkness, Mariah Carey. Yeah, so Mariah Carey came out with her um, bipolar disorder. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, that's that's big of her yeah. to do that. They said that she's been diagnosed in 2001 and she was hiding it. And mm-hmm. then and now she just decided to just come forth, I guess, with all the mishaps that she's been having with her performances and all that stuff. I think, yeah, she said it was too much. She said it was just too much. And, you know, she was it, she was incredibly isolated and everything. And she just decided, like, she had to go and get help. She was in denial the whole time. So you think in 2001 to 2018, she was just running and gunning. And you know why? I, I think it's easier to do that even... Because she has like what you call bipolar two, mm-hmm. which means you get more depressed and you don't get as manic. So you okay. know when you sometimes when you get really manic, it's like you can't do anything. Mm-hmm. But she was just like not sleeping, just like mm-hmm. working harder and mm-hmm. like with no sleep and just going and going and going, and then eventually you crash. Well, big up to Mariah, right? I think that any full disclosure just frees you, right? Right. Because, and especially with a Donald Trump's son and all this, you know, Melania and all the good work that she's doing with the mental health. <laughs> What? I was like, where are you going with that? I don't, I just, just went left. I don't even know where you're going with that. No, but, like, that's a big thing to come out. People, and, and the thing is, though, she said she didn't come out with it because she was afraid of the stigma, and she said she didn't want to potentially end her career, which is right. sad. I mean, I'm so glad that she's come out because there's so you many people. You know how people, many stars have yeah, those kind of disorders? They like, do. It's because it gives, it's kind of, like, It gives you high, the quick. It gives you the quick. Yep. I Two, what she's what one one out of what is it six million adults are estimated to have bipolar disorder in the U.S. That's you know a what's lot so crazy? of people. What 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 were we diagnosed with before they had all these people disorders? were just they just said people were crazy. We just put them then, in the room with Uncle Uncle Pete. And gave <laughs> <some food. laughs> no, nah, everybody got some, you know everybody black has somebody. In the oh room. no, you don't have anybody in the room. Girl, man, room. We used to put my cousin Sean in. The room. Okay, anyway, um, next story. <laughs> Okay, so you know, you know what's been happening, right? So um, I like to talk about Black Lives Matter. You know this on the show, and in shockingly, Starbucks was embroiled in this really crazy controversy. So oh, they were the like two guys that got arrested for no reason for just sitting there, pretty much, pretty using, much using the Wi-Fi. Right, so they sat there, which is right. What are you supposed using to do? Using the Wi-Fi. So we it's know free Wi-Fi, Everybody. Starbucks. Exactly. Everybody goes, uses the Wi-Fi, hangs out, whatever. So they were there waiting for their friend. So they asked to use the bathroom. The employee said no because they hadn't bought anything. So they went back and sat down. And then he or she had the nerve to ask them to leave. And they didn't because they weren't doing anything but sitting down. This sounds like a civil rights setup. Like yeah. sitting on a bus <laughs> and rolls apart. <laughs> really? You wasn't even tired. Okay, you know, I'm just sorry. No, okay. It's crazy. And so they called the cops. And the cops came. And tried to tell them to leave, and they were like, no, we're not leaving. And so they arrested them, and they caught it all on camera. And it was a huge outcry, because people yeah. were like, why, what? You can't Now you can't sit in Starbucks while black? Now this I can't have my mocha latte. Well. Like blondie. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, they made their voices heard. They're like, no, we're not going to stand for this. Mm-hmm. So they went back to the store and protested, and they actually shut the short store down that oh, day. Oh, I saw the bull horns, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they went in there. They weren't playing games. And so... Kevin Johnson, CEO of Starbucks, they actually fired the employee that was responsible for that. And it's breaking, they decided that they were going to do a huge racial bias training Uh on May 29th at all of their stores nationwide 
closing on stores on May 29th. Well, just they, for they, that racial bias. They can bias close them now because I walked past three Starbucks coming here and they were empty. Well, and that that's crazy. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. You know, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. But so now that they're doing this racial discrimination, you that's know, a good thing. Training. Mm -hmm. They fired the employee. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's enough, or do you think more needs to be done? Well, they've done more than many companies. Like this is not a new story. This is, I mean, this is an incident that that's not like this. But we've been treated poorly in stores as black people okay. for a very, very long time. H and M, but people still shop in there. Like it's, you know, uh, Tommy Hilfiger said that he's not making his clothes for black people. Or, you know, all these allegedly, all mm -hmm. these things that right. that come out and they they're just fly by night, and you don't see the company taking any real ownership. Maybe mm -hmm. they'll settle a case here and settle right. a case there. So I think that this is a huge step on the part of um, Starbucks. Well, people are saying, fine, huge step, thank you, but you need to go further. And do what? Like, for example, why don't you start training all the managers immediately? Like, that's what, you know, one of my friends said. Well, why can't you do that right now? Um, are you going to compensate the, the two young men for humiliation, being arrested for absolutely no reason? They're probably going to um, compensate them. But then what else? So what else? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying as a corporation, you don't really see that happening. I mean, there's no reparations for Facebook selling your information. It's like, oh, my bad. That's what normally happens. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, I think Kevin, CEO Kevin Johnson really tried to come out ahead of this story, mm -hmm. made, gave an apology like mm -hmm. right away. This is not... This is not in keeping with our values. Mm -hmm. We do not want this to be happening at our stores. And you know what I thought was really interesting? Just the fact that he's doing the racial bias training, right? Because a lot of times people will say, you know, white people in particular, I'm not racist because they don't believe in lynching black people or they don't believe in slavery or, you know but what I mean? Think All that of this not white, just white people. I think everybody is a bit biased and racist. Well, of course. But we're talking about in terms of like, black white racism right which is what this story entails a lot of time you will say you know that's a racist thing and people will automatically be like i'm not racist i don't believe in this i don't believe in that and it's like no there's racial bias that you're not even aware of mm -hmm. because i'm sure he or she was like oh well if anybody was trespassing in the store i would have you know called the police no you wouldn't it's something about black people and black men that you think is inherently scary and so you're like move on there's and a, that's a problem and so i'm glad that they're doing this there's a there's a, um, a ted talk about that about um racial biases as it relates to black men and it's like excellent and um, you're just making me think of it and it's oh you're just making me think of it and it's just so it's 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 true yeah like, it's true but you know bias. what's so crazy we have that same bias as black people for black men I can believe that. You know, like, I can believe that. I can believe that I'm, there's if some. If I'm walking down the street and there's a group of black guys, consciousness to it, where you're just like, I'm oh. a little nervous. Tell the truth, shame the devil. And if it's white guys, I'm not so much. You know what it is? Think about this. Remember the doll, the doll experiment yeah, back yeah. in the day, like you know, we're in the sixties or what condition. have you. Mm -hmm. And then the little girls were like, "Do you prefer the black doll or the white doll?" And they would be black little girls, and they would still prefer the white doll, right, or they would still say. Which one is a smart doll? Or nice Which one is a pretty. pretty doll? Yeah. So these unconscious biases really come into play for all of us, like you said. It's, it's sad. Good step, good first step from Starbucks. So guys, this is a special treat. Now we all know that Kizzy loves to talk. <laughs> and she's about to hit, give you some good seasoned up. <laughs> Cook a pot. Cook a pot. No. Cook down in the pot. What? In in no. the what, what, what you kind of stuff y'all use? Curry. Oh, oh my god. Curry gosh. and turmeric. What else y'all use? <laughs> Hot pepper sauce. Hot pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper in in this Caribbean cook a pot. When I tell you, Yo, I all love the body, all the body boys, uh, listen up. Listen, listen up. Oh my because god. Because she got a free end story for you today. Onika, go, go, go in straight down. <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> all right, so like Onika hinted at, Trinidad and Tobago has taken a huge step towards gay rights. They have decriminalized gay sex, or have decided that they are going to decriminalize gay sex 
calling the colonial era laws banning anal sex or buggery, as it's referred to. Buggery? Buggery. 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 It yes. sounds like rats and roaches. And I don't know, but that's buggery? what they call it. Okay, sorry. They're calling those laws unconstitutional. So the laws. Who's constitution, though? Theirs? Their constitution, yeah, okay. so much of that in Tobago. So uh, penalties for violating to the law as a man would be up to 25 years in prison. You could get and jail time. And for That's women, some good sex. it would be five years. So, I mean, it's really enforced. It's really, I mean, they're not going to know. How are they going to know? They're going to go into your house. But the point is, people are saying, activists, gay rights activists are saying this is a huge step. It's great. It gives them a sense of dignity that they did not necessarily have before. Yeah. And Jason Jones is the gay Trinidadian man who brought the lawsuit, which is why they even took up the case. Uh, last year, he tweeted after the verdict, all caps, victory. And then, thank you so much for everyone's messages of support. We did it. We found an equal place. Good, because it's taboo in the Caribbean community. Oh, definitely, definitely. Right. Like I think anywhere you have Christianity and colonialism, you're going to have this. So it's terrible in the Caribbean, in places in Africa, and the places same way. in the South. Right, because you have to go to like bigger cities. Like you can't, right. you'll be on the side of the road in like Rayford, North Carolina, if you, yeah, they exactly. Don't play that. Same I thing. I call it Ben Kemp. It's like, and that's like we had a town, and there was like a gay, the one gay man in the town, and Ben Kemp. And he just like Ben Kemp. That's oh really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Was it a small town? Yeah, a very small. Oh, town. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why you have to go to the big cities to be gay. Like Atlanta, that's what's popular. Right. Charlotte, you know, like the bigger cities, so that you can kind of get lost. It's sad, but it's true. Well, well, imagine Trinidad and Tobago has no protections in housing or employment or anything else. So it's even more dangerous to be gay there. But at least now, it will not be illegal to be gay. Uh, so what do you think? I mean, do you think that... Well, I think that they're becoming very progressive. First, you got to get a license to beg you for wine, right? That's what you said. <laughs> What's no you license? Said, you want one? Nah, that's not what we said. You said you got to get a license, no. a card, a wine card. <laughs> no, they did not. That, no. Get a wine card. No. For, for Trinidad no. at the carnival, you had to beg up for wine. What you said? No, you said that's not what I said. You said you nobody was on your butt because they didn't have a license. Because no, they didn't I did not time. say anything like that. She okay. is crazy. So what I said was <laughs> that if somebody was whining on you without your consent, they could be arrested for that. That is what I said. Oh, look at that. So you need, so you now, just need to have, you know, the permission that it's, it's all It's this feminism. Consent. They're not playing anymore. Look at all this, right? Go well, ahead, millennials. Go well, ahead. Well, <laughs> I don't even, I don't know if this Jason Jones is a millennial. I don't know. No, but, I just, it just, it's a millennial movement. It's a millennial culture. Everyone gets to like have rights and say and all opinions and all that stuff. Which that's we've a never had. That's a beautiful thing. So, okay. So what do you think though? Because you know, I think Jamaica still has buggery laws. Grenada, St. Lucia, Barbados, tons of countries in the in the Caribbean still have buggery they're laws. They're going to have to them. ban some songs first. Because that bye-bye oh, is that song is buna, crazy. Buna, 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 no, but you know what? If you even go online and you look at it, people are very much in support of keeping those laws on the books. Especially in Jamaica, they're like, no, this, this is our culture. And, you know, why should we... Um, Basically, approve of something Just that you know was, de in, in, was, in was denied, you know, in the Bible, and we don't really bother people anyway, and blah blah. Yeah, so it's, it's going to take a long time, I think, for this to sweep the whole Caribbean, but it's, right. a, it's a step, it's yeah. a step, yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad you did not sing the hoax. Thank you. For First of all, I don't know the words. All Good. I know is bye bye and the bite the boy. Oh gosh, music. terrible. And then the butter, 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 butter. You know, I have no idea. I can't even speak English sometimes. Right. Okay, but. <laughs> Oh, I think that it's a good step. Good, good, good for them. Yes. And our photo of the week, guys, is a photo of Tristan Thompson in a Manhattan hotel mm. with a woman, mm. not um, Khloe Kardashian. Now, that's snitching, technically. Yes, and you snitching right now. But our it's executive, our executive producer, put it on the script, and <laughs> I just read it. Sorry, Tristan. She gave us the story. Don't listen to her. She's snitching now. See what I mean? Hey! Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of there! 
even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh, soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. So you know, all the things that are going on, sometimes you just need some motivation. And so we give you guys some motivation. We've got the motivational quote of the week, and this week it comes from Denise Hurley on behalf of Coco Chanel. Nice. And it is, don't spend time beating on a wall, hoping it will transform into a door. Well, thank you so much for that, Denise. That reminds me of that, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. But oh. so long we spend looking at the door that's closed, we don't recognize that. Oh, when God didn't open another door, I'm going to praise him in the hallway. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm <laughs> I've never even heard of that one. What? <laughs> what? Hey, I'm from down south. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Onika, what? Can okay. you believe it? What? 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 The happened? show is over. No, are you guys? It's uh, you guys have a good time. Yeah. I had an amazing time. I know I did. Don't tell all those people I said all those things about them. <laughs> Tristan Thompson's <laughs> coming for you. No, it's not. Yeah, he is. So that's gonna do it for this week's edition of What's the Four and One, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week. Uh, I want you guys to do us a favor, right? I want you to go to our website, which is at www.whatstheforeonehone.com. No, I always say www. I don't know. I like www. It's like whatever. I want you guys to go, go, right? Go to our, go on our website, and I want you to share it to your social media. Like, come on, we're the baby that you guys can help grow. Let's let's yes, grow. Yes, yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the Four and One TV. And if you love our beautiful faces, look at that face. Look at that face. Where okay, you can hear our voices while you clean your house and go on a train and do all you want to do yeah. on our podcast. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and TuneIn. Yeah. So. I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of Anika McLean, thank you for spending your time with What's the 4 and one We'll see you next time. 4 who's got the 4 one Four one one, they got the 4 one Who's got the 4 one We got the 4 one What's the 4 one The 4 one What's the 4 one They got the 4 one We got the 4 one What's the 4 one They got the 4 one What's the 4 one They got the 4 one They got the 4 one What's the 4 one They got the 4 one